I'm going to introduce this artwork named Sleepless Night Standing. This is an oil painting of a little girl who can sleep well. At Sotheby's, this painting sold for more than 9 million Hong Kong dollars, the same as 45 million New Taiwan dollars. This art was made by a Japanese artist is named Nara Yashitomo. And this art made at 1997. Nara Yashimoto's Yashitomo's paintings are easy to be to recognize. And you can see the little people with big heads and big eyes are his characteristics. And you can see the picture in he, you can see his characteristic in this picture, obviously. And this is my introduction about this artwork. Thanks for listening. Why is the reason that he painted this? And uh, why is his starting point? This represents a little girl who has big eyes, high fortune, and the lovely and the a little evil light. And why is the name of this picture? The Hello, may I help you? Where I'm from? I'm from Singapore. I noticed that you standing here for a long time. It seems that you are very interested in this artwork. Yes, this artwork is very eye-catching and special. Um, this is Nara Yoshitomo's artwork. His name is Hong. The girl's head and eyes are very cute. Yes, you are very observant. This is typical style of Nara's work. The meaning behind his work is innocent and naive image. It's known as big well eyes and head. He also presents the Well, I can Home is a place to harbor. No matter what else we have done, to learn what is love and to be loved. I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, for this next exhibition, here we are with Melissa to introduce the artist. Uh, this is Nara Yoshitomo, who was born in Japan in 1959. It's well range from painting, sketching, to glass fiber, ceramic bronze structure. Wow, cool. And what do you think of his artwork? His artwork was from the inside. Ah. It looks like to me, like uh, Nara Yashitomo is expressing himself from the inside out. And the name of this exhibition is called Youth for Rebellion. Any idea why it's called Youth for Rebellion? Uh, it is. It all of that has a Youth for Rebellion at the time. When we are young. That's so cool. Uh, why do you think, to me, the baby looks kind of angry? Any thoughts on that? Do you think perhaps he didn't enjoy his childhood very much? Yes. It does seem somewhat to me that perhaps during childhood he felt suppressed, pushed down, as though he wasn't able to express himself fully as a child, almost like the loss of innocence. Um, and to me, I would say that his paintings express uh, the suppression that he suppressed within himself. Uh, his anger 
at the outside world for not allowing him to express himself as a child. Any thoughts on that? So, I mean, would you agree with that? Yes. Hmm, cool. Yeah, so this is very cool that he's, he's expressing his anger, his rebellion, his rebellion towards the way children's natural expression of innocence is basically just suppressed uh, from a very young age, uh, taught to obey, basically, taught to obey, become part of the system, the education system, and taught to obey, uh, molded into, into a pawn of the system, so to speak. And this expression, I call it, I call it the angry baby, kind of says it all. Thank you very much for listening. Today, I want to introduce Nara Yoshimoto's work of art, Sleep Last Night. It's also my favorite work of art in this exhibition. <laughs> Although the painting was a little girl, she has an old trouble. When I look at her, I want to give her a warm hug because look at her face feel very sad and worried but I think a lot of people uh, who <laughs> who have insomnia problems uh, and look at painting will be comforted they will get sympathy from it when I look at the painting of the little girl from a distance for the first time, uh, she looked very lovely. But when I closely look at her face, uh, her face is, was full of trouble and sorrow. This painting has an old childhood impression and also all those concerts at the same time. It's really a special and admirable work. Thanks for your listening. Welcome to Nala Yoshitoma's exhibition. Let's take a look at this arrow. And this arrow cannot have picture because it is personal collection. Have you ever seen or approached his words? Yes, his words are very cute and all of his work have big eyes. I have seen his work in Japan before and I love his work so I'm here. And let's take a look at this picture. This work names and other work and other girl. This is my favorite one. What do you think? Well, when I first saw this, I feel it very lovely. <laughs> I agree with, but I also think she wants to express some heavy ideas. How do you think about this play? Um, the girl in the picture thinks she wants to know the world about adults, but thinks she also wants to keep her childish heart. Well, my idea is a little different with yours. I think this picture is that to the world and she wants to know more about this fantastic world. Since you guys like this world and how about this? Mm, I think it's a little horrible because it seems she can see through my heart. Uh, but I don't think so. I think this world made my mind warm. And it's different from this one. These two pictures are just the upside. How this expression can touch your mind? And if you have any idea about youth, you can just message it on it. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you.